On April Fool's Day in 1976, Steve Wozniak and Steve Jobs released the Apple I computer. This was the genesis of the Apple Corporation. The first computer with a graphic user interface was the Lisa. Steve Jobs was inspired to develop the Lisa by the Xerox Corporation. Apple II was introduced in 1977 with 4 kilobytes of RAM in April. The price for the computer was $1,298. That same year, the famous Apple logo was designed. In 1980, Apple went public with 4.6 million shares, the largest offering since Ford Motor in 1956. By this time, Apple had over 1,000 employees. In May of 1980, the Apple III was introduced. The year 1980 also marked with the one millionth personal computer bought in the U.S. The first Apple layoff affected 40 people in 1981. By 1983, one million Apple IIs had been produced. On January 22, 1984, the legendary 1984 ad appeared during the Super Bowl. On January 24, the Macintosh was introduced at $2,495. Shortly after the release of the Macintosh system, the Lisa II was introduced. In May of 1984, the Macintosh System 1.1 introduced fonts and font mover. In February of 1985, Steve Wozniak left Apple. In April, the Macintosh 2 was revealed with a new folder command and viewing small icon or as a small list. In September of 1985, Steve Jobs left Apple and went on to start Next. Throughout the next decade, Apple upgraded the Macintosh several times along with adding new applications to the classic machines. In 1995, the words World Wide Web entered our vocabulary. At this point, more and more people were using computers for personal purposes. This revolution led to booming sales for Apple computers. With further advancements made with the internet, like email, it was obvious that computers needed to be more user-friendly. With this came the Power Macintosh. Shortly after the Power Macintosh, the iBook was released. This was the first consumer-level laptop. From 2000 to the present, Apple has produced many new products, including many versions of the iPod, iPad, and many updates to the Macintosh computer. With its many advancements in elite applications, Apple has found itself at the top of the market for personal computers.